Amen. Amen. We're going to call a portion of our choir to sing a song. Amen. And followed by that, amen. I know it's not um, in the program on today, but I thought it would be nice, amen, for our call various ones to say something about our overseer on this Mother's Day. Yes. Amen. We certainly want to celebrate her, amen, as our spiritual mother. Yes. Amen. On this morning. So yes. we're going to call our choir, and then followed by that, I'll be calling various ones to say something to our overseer, amen, in appreciation for Mother's Day. Amen. 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 Praise him. Praise him. So this is one of our overseer, one of her songs that she had not sang in a long time. So um, we're gonna pray. Y'all pray for me that I remember the words. Um, because of who you are, I give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't don't just look at us as well as we sing it, but just think about the words. Think about your situation and how God has been a blessing to you. Now God has been bringing down that giant. Hallelujah. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will give my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because
collection. Amen. Thank God for our choir. Amen. Thank God for our overseer. Amen. Right. Amen. Because of who you are. God, we give you glory. Amen. Amen. Just want to take a little bit of time out. Amen. To just say some things. Amen. Amen. Just want to take a little bit of time out. Amen. To just say something kind to our overseer. Amen. All she right. is our spiritual mother. Amen. And it is Mother's Day. Amen. So I'm going to call a few of you up. Amen. To say something. Amen. To our overseer. Amen. And what she means to you. It could be a song. Amen. It could be a word of encouragement. However God leads you. Amen. To say something to our overseer. Yeah. Amen. So we're going to call. Amen. Our evangelist McClendon. Amen. We call her. Amen. Yeah. We just come with her. Come on. You come. Amen. If they like to say something as well. Amen. Oh, that's so nice. Put on So I just want to announce everybody that I am now Desire Shelly. Right. I would say to my mama that she's the most beautiful woman in the world. That's right. And I want to take a few sunglasses. <laughs> every time I come over their house, I usually go in her room and watch a movie with her, and I want to thank her for that so much. And I love you, Mama. Oh. Oh. My mom and Mama is the um, Liverpool of London Road. Thank you so much for coming to my little mommy, and thank you for letting me love you with your whole family. Mom, I just want to thank God for you. Thank God for, oh my gosh, going through trials <laughs> with me. And growing up and dealing with my mouth, dealing with my growth, you know, you've always been there for me. You've always took care of my kids. You know, I would not be able to do this by myself. And I know this, and I thank God for you. And I just thank God for how much of a beautiful person you are. You're so sweet. You're willing to help anybody, stick in there with anybody. You're willing to sit on the phone for hours with just to hear, you know, people will hear me and my <laughs> craziness. But I just thank God for your prayers and your understanding and your patience. You really have patience with me and I thank God for that. Thank God for you. Bless me so much. But if y'all I want to sing a song. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name.
beautiful, beautiful evangelist. Beautiful, beautiful. Amen. We want to call Amen. No, Tanasia. Amen. church it's like she is like your number one support squad like I don't care what's happening she's the support squad so I'm not just saying it just to say it but I know that you know I was I was one of the hard-headed kids but I will say because I was not just her natural child she stuck with me prayed with me Yes. Did everything that a mom is supposed to do, yes. and if I, the, the scripture is right, train up a child the way it yes. should go, right. and when they get old, they shall not depart. Yes. yes, I did depart, but I still had God within me because of mom. And those prayers, I will not forget. Those conversations, I will never forget. Even in the time, the time she'll say, well, did I tell you? But I, I often think about that, like even on this week, it was certain things that was happening in the classroom, and all I could do was think about what would my mom say in the situation. So I actually had to like, you know, just to make y'all laugh a little bit, my mom was in my ear, she said, mm, boy, close your mouth, don't say nothing. I took the paper and I held it up. So I'm just, you know, just thankful that, you know, just like the manager said, we well, have yeah, one mom, take care of her, cherish her. Right. Yeah. And no matter what, no matter how many conversations she had with you, Please hold on to those like gold. So Amen. I love you. I will always cherish you. I don't care what we do together. You're always going to be my number one. Besides that, I know what you're going to do. Amen. Amen. We're going to call our sister Pastor Smith. Amen. Amen. To say some kind words to our overseer. Yes. Praise the Lord. I give honor. Thank God so much. Amen for the opportunity to, to speak on behalf of her sister. And I thank God so much for her. She's been a pioneer in ministry. She has been an example. She has walked the walk that each one that have come to the Lord have come. And she shows an example of the Lord Jesus and how God will bless you. Yes. And she's such a kind-hearted person. 
And anything that you need, everything that everyone says, she's up there. You can call her and apostle at three in the morning. Yes. And they want to take your call and then yes. we have a prayer with you. So I thank God so much and a lot of sacrifices. Sometimes they're not right around the corner. Sometimes they have to travel almost two hours to get to where you are. But they're going to come. And sometimes right. back to back days. And that's a lot of travel. And it's a lot on them. And we appreciate the sacrifices that they have laid through the year. And thank God so much for Overseer and her prayers and her standing. Thank God that she will be a doctor. In a Praise God for her receiving her just due recompense. Amen. 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 We want to call our junior minister Ronald. Amen. To come and get some words. Amen. This morning. Not right now. All right. Amen. We just want to hear from one or two more. Amen. And then we'll turn it over. Amen. We're going to call Prophetess Lucas. Amen. To uh, say uh, amen. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you all today. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day again. And I do apologize. I'm really not good with words. <laughs> 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 we praise and thank God for you. I thank God for your living, your life. Thank God for your staying. Thank God for your words of encouragement. I thank God for your prayers. I just thank God for you being you. Um, just as a assistant pastor, um, Bell was saying um, how she could hear you in her ear. I'm always going through on my job, and um, for some reason this week, uh, when I was going through, um, all I could do is just shut my eyes, and I could just say, help, Lord. I could just hear you saying, help, Lord. And I just thank God for that song and how it brought some calmness um, to what I was going through um, that week. And that particular day, I just kept hearing the song, help, Lord. So I truly praise and thank God for the song. I thank God for the ministry, and I thank God for you and your life, and I just want to say that I love you. I thank God for you, and um, you're my spiritual mom as well. I get a little jealous because I tell she you always show her a little extra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy to our overseer, amen. So we want to get take this time, amen, yes. to let, allow yes. everyone, everyone, That's amen, right. to say something to That's our overseer right. on this morning, amen. We're going to call our minister Bells, amen. If he can oh, come right. up, amen, and say something to our overseer. <laughs>
great to be in here at the church. The long, longest time. The longest time. <laughs> 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 Amen. We want to call, amen, our minister Wright. Amen. If he could come forth, amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Do I set that I have my own ministry? Yes. It's a lot of people. I like to be the same person to the news. You know, when you get out, you find out that you have to see nothing. Good. Good. I just want to thank God for you. Although he did always disagree, he always came up with us. Amen. Yeah. He didn't always agree on me, but he always came up with us. He did. He did. He did. Snyder, amen, on this morning. Yes. Oh, no. Praise the Lord, hell no. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless you. I know everybody almost said everything they have to say, but I want to thank you for all the times, the good times and bad times that you prayed for me and you've been there for me. In fact, I know leadership is dual rather than just singular, but I'm thanking you and also thanking your husband for being there for you too. Also, what's in supporting me and everything that God has going put on my heart. I just want to take this time to say thank you. Amen. We want to call our Elder Blackwell. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Truly, this is my friend. 
Yeah. And we the Blackwell, myself, my wife, my lovely wife, Annette Blackwell, <laughs> and the Blackwell family, as well as the Stewart family, everybody that's associated with us, we look up to you, Pastor Jeff. Yeah. We know who you are. I don't agree with everything you say. You know that. <laughs> and, and sometimes you probably say, but that that the Blackwell is suck. But no, I, I just I just love you. And that's the way I show my love to you. Try to get yeah. your sometimes. But Pastor Shelley, make no mistake about it, my friend. And my family. That's all they talk about the kids and everybody. Mm -hmm. Tasha, Toya, yes, uh, yes. Ursula, all of them. They always talk about it. You go to church today, you can see Pastor Shelley, you know, he said, hello. And that's what I do. When I get around you sometimes, I get a little emotion. I don't like to show that. It's <laughs> like, uh, if you see tears in my eyes, it's probably because of that something for me. But it's not probably because I love you. I'm not, it's not, these kids are not funny because I love them. It's something got in my eyes. <laughs> nevertheless, nevertheless, you must pray. You are with me, but we go way back. You've been a friend, and you are a She got me so emotional, girl. I didn't want y'all to see this part of the eye. But like I said, um, it's not because the only thing I can think of really, y'all, that a net or something must have been like that. It's a net. 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 You say Why don't you thank God for Jesus who laid the foundation? something like that but all I can remember from overseer is her teaching um, Sunday school um, I remember her being an evangelist then yes. um, I always when I saw her I saw the girls and, yes. and you know right. and uh, Minister right. Dante yeah. I seen everybody in the house of prayer if she was there, they was there. Yeah. I remember just her being a good example of a saint in church and how she pray, how yes. she teach, yes. how she preach. Yes. Um, I thank God for her. When my mom went down South Carolina, I thank God for how, how she always encouraged me how she always, you know, um, like just encourage me to to be <laughs> strong. That's right. Because sometimes yes. I, you know, I would be like, I miss my mother so much. But yeah. when I come to 
come to the house of prayer, I can get strength from her and apostle. I thank God for just the mother that she is. Yeah. She is truly a good mom, and you can tell from her children, from her yeah. upbringing, you know, the yeah. upbringing. And I thank God for just who she is. You know, we have a good example of a yes, mother, of a leader. That's right. You know, that's so right. um, that's, I mean, it's so much I can say, but uh, I don't want to take up too much time. I thank God for my son being here today. Yeah. a while ago, but as we was leaving, it started pouring. Yes. The yes. hail was coming down in the gas. It's like, oh! Instead of Carter coming in, he goes out there and he like he's fascinated by the weather so much. Every time he sees something, he warned me before it comes. He's like, Mom, I see a storm on the right side. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Wow. And I'm like, what are you talking about, Carter? He like, I see that storm. It's coming. I said, okay. And it is coming. <laughs> so I thank God for just um Dominic surprising me today. I didn't I did not know he was gonna be here. And when I pulled up, I looked over at the car over there. I said, that looked like Dominic Carter. But the only way I could tell it is if I'm behind his car, that I know for sure that that's his car. But the way I'm parked, I'm on this side of the street facing that way, and his car is that way. So that's why I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but when I came in, I looked, I said, that's the only one. But yeah, thank you. Thank you. That, that's a blessing all by itself. Yeah. I thank God for my baby boy. <laughs> myself and I thank God for the rest of my children. I thank God for my husband. Yeah. Thank God for, I don't want to take up all this time, but I don't be here often. I'm sorry. Um, but I thank God for how he blessed me. I thank God for how on I've already um, told Apostle and Pastor about it. But God blessed me with a job at John Hopkins. Woo! Lord, I know if I say something, you know how that is. Yes. And, you know, yes. stuff start happening. But I just thank God. Yes. Yes. So this week, I was blessed so much due to the doctors and the, the different nurses and, you know, the different sta staff members there. They, it was so much love there on that floor. And I thank God for how he blessed me. And I feel like he placed me right in in that that position oh, yeah. where I'm at. And I know it wasn't nothing but God, but mm -hmm. I thank God for our overseer and our apostle. Mm -hmm. I thank God for I thank God for all of y'all and y'all continue to pray for me and my family. Yeah. Amen. We thank God for our, amen, our here evangelist lions. We thank God for her on this morning, our beautiful testimonies of how God is blessing her. Yeah. We thank God again, amen, for her amen. on this morning. We want to call our evangelist Blackwell. Amen. She threatening to beat me up, y'all. <laughs> Praise the right, I'm going to say my Lord. 
And I thank God for how she did when my family did it. She was there for us. Yes. And we are, I mean, I'm going to tell you, man, Pastor Shelby, a truly mother and father. Because I even know how many of you, you are, that's how we are. <laughs> we all get to get mad at you. But I still love her, though. Because yes. I can yes. tell me, oh, I was first, I was first. No, I was first because I said my peace through my announcement. <laughs> and also, um, Ben, you said the right thing. She showed more attention to you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, too. I'm telling you, too. So we thank God for you. <laughs> truly, our pastor, our old staff, possibly. Truly, she's a blessing to each and she's every good. one yeah. of us. Retirement party and a Mother's Day celebration. Nice. And Pastor Shelly, every month here, yeah, asked about you. Oh, and I asked how you was doing and everything. And I, we, I thank God because my family, well, I can't go nowhere to the family of Alden because that's the first. How's Pastor Shelly? Tell me, <laughs> say hello. So I thank God that my family also has a heart for her. Yeah. And you also, Pastor Shelly, yes. but it's her day today. <laughs> and we thank God for you. We truly love you. We Yes. This hope God continue to bless you and keep you in His word. Now I'm gonna tell you, you don't tell me. So beautiful. Amen. We thank God for our evangelist Blackwell. Yes. Woman of few words. Amen. But when she do speak, she's powerful. We thank God. Yes. For yes. Amen. We do have two more people. Amen. And I like to call our brother Dominic if he can come, amen, and offer some words of encouragement to our overseer. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. sat in that chair back there and it just brought back all the memories and all the all the great times that I had yeah. here. Yeah. I see my man right here. He was yeah. yeehaw. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy the man that life can take for him. Amen. When I look at that. both of y'all, not just, you know, Pastor Shelley, I'm going to celebrate you today for sure, but when I look at both of y'all, I think foundation. Wow. Yeah. Ministries, as yeah. you can see right there, 2005, almost 20 years of excellence. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All of my life that you guys have been doing this, and y'all have provided the greatest foundation I could possibly think of. Yeah. And obviously, I don't get the chance to say it often because I'm working, I'm doing school, I'm doing mentorship, I'm yes. doing a lot of other things. Yes. But you guys, the foundation that you provided me guides everything that I do. Yeah. myself for the days it really does so every time I look at you guys I think about foundation and the foundation that you set for me not only for me but for my siblings for my family and for everybody in the congregation so man I'm, I'm extremely grateful for you guys and I just thank God for being a part of something so special and how Mother's Day brought me back to the house and I pray I can give you Um, each and every one of you guys on, on, on today. 
And I truly thank God for you, for all the prayers, for encouraging me from my youth on up. And I truly appreciate, you know, this uh, being a, a spiritual mother uh, to my mom yeah. and my aunt. And yeah. they always talk about you so highly. And I thank God for you for just being there for them. And I know I just I can look on to you because you've been on you've been there for them, you've been encouraging them, and I thank God truly for you. Just stuff in the building, amen. But we know our overseer would love, amen, to hear something from him. Yeah, amen. Amen. Just a few encouraging words for our overseer on the day, amen. Man, I think you can put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all of y'all. I see something in each and every one of y'all. It's, it's too much to go through, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to take up half the service, but I see, I'm, no, I'm dead serious. I see something in every one of y'all, every child, kids, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that y'all do throughout the church. I, I mean, I see something beautiful in each and every mother in here. You know what I mean? And I mean, it's, what better day to say it than today? That's right. That's right. And I thank you so much. I mean, you know, stuff about my family, you know, stuff about me. I mean, before you even really knew me like that, you, you, you just invited me into your space. I appreciate that. I love you for it. I mean, I love all y'all. You know, you know I love you, baby. You know, <laughs> I know that's right. I appreciate each and every mother in here. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day today. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for each and every one. Amen. That came forth. Amen. I don't know about Brother Eddie would like to come and say something to our overseer. Amen. We want to make sure everybody have an opportunity to say amen on this morning. My name's Eddie. I'm grateful to be here. I just joined the church maybe about two, three weeks ago. All right. And ever since I've been coming. Amen. This lady and this man, they're very beautiful people. Yeah. Yeah. And I love them. All right. I love them. And I'm going to stick and stay here because i got to do this the rest of my life. Just like i got to do something else the rest of my life. Yes. And I love you guys. We love and, you. And you are very good people. And I love you. And I'm going to continue to come, guys. All right. But they're very good people that, that I know. They're very good people. And I love you and I love everybody, guys. And that's what Jesus said. Don't hurt one another, love one another. Amen. I think we got to everybody. Amen. We didn't get to our apostle. Amen. But we want to give words and space. Amen. For our apostle. Amen. So he will share. Amen. So words Amen. Can I use your mic? <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Wow. Amen. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. Sooner or later, it's turning my favor. Sooner or later, it's turning my favor. It's turning around. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concern in me. Everybody say, Sooner or later, it's turning my favor. One more time. Sooner or later, it's turning. That's 
song is involving my wife and I for the last couple of days. Yes. Praise the Lord. We are the Spirit of God, everybody. Yes. Amen. Our general overseer, my Lord, Lord, Lord. We honor our pastor Dylan, our sister pastor Smith, our youth church pastor. We honor everybody in the house of God. We honor you. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is Mother's Day. You know what I love is the Bible said, they that are led by the Spirit. They are the sons of God. Amen. I just love how the Spirit has been led to, to encourage. You don't never know how much uh, encouragement. Let her to just take time to honor the woman of God. Yeah. Amen. say something. Um, she's an amazing woman. Yeah. Uh, let me say this before I get really, really uh, into this. And uh, we got some good news for you. And we're going to share that with you in just two or three minutes. Um, but I, I want to thank God for Dominic. That's And, and then a double boost of joy to hear him. Yeah. It's been quite a while since I've seen him or heard him. Amen. And just to see him, a married man. And, uh, a businessman. Uh, I was fortunate to, to be uh, around him a good part of his life. Yeah. Praise the Lord as his principal. Yeah. Um, and then as one of the leaders here at the church yeah. and to see him grow up. And you know, it's one thing to have aspirations. It's another, it's one thing to have a vision. Yeah. It's one thing to have a dream. But then to see it realized, and so um, it's so good to see Dominic because I remember him when he was just trying to have a vision, yeah. trying to have a dream. He just would work on being a good student. Yeah. Uh, he was the valedictorian of the stadium school. He reminds me so much of my son, Dante, um, in that, you know, those are just people you look at and you can't help but to look on them and see um, the, that something is different, you know, is this different. Dominique, I mean, uh, in school, if you've ever been into uh, a school, children one way in school and another way home. Dominic was the same way in school, same way at home. And and that's just a rare thing to have. I mean, you can, let me tell you, those of you that know, you say that not my child. You send your child to school and you think that's your child, and then you get a phone call and find out you got another child. <laughs> But it's all right. It's all right. Now I'm just, I, I'm so glad to see him. I, it's been a good 10 years, I think. Yeah. It's been a good while. I don't know if it's been 10 or not. Amen. It seemed like yesterday. Amen. And then I'm so great to see Stephen. Amen. And uh, we, we're sorry we missed your, uh, your sermon. I think you did a a um, trial sermon, and uh, I pray that you that you send us the the video of it because we'd love to see it. 
Amen. Um, uh, God's got great things in store for you, Steve. You are another young man that is impeccable and great. To, you're just humble. You, you're um, loyal. You love people. Um, you're doing God's work. It's a good day. Amen. I know that preaching is going to bring some trials to you and you've already started but amen it's a calling embrace it amen because god got greater things for you yeah. god got greater. Yeah. Everybody said greater. Yeah. so uh get back to the overview i said two minutes i'll tell you so there's not going to be any preaching today god led the the youth pastor Amen. And I thought she did such a wonderful job. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Such a beautiful job. Um, I love it when you're led by God. Yes. Amen. You want, you want, when you're led by God, you're doing the right thing. Yes. Amen. Um, we appreciate you so much. But this is what I want to say about the overseer. Um, she's just a, a wonderful beautiful woman. Doesn't she look beautiful today? She got style, y'all. Everyone got style. You can tell she's born in Baltimore. Yeah, I can imagine her in that teenage year with her Chuck Lascelles and, and Jack Lascelles and and her leaves and having it coordinated. I bet she was coordinated before she left out of the house. Uh, the, uh, you know, people in Baltimore, they just a well coordinated city. And then they, 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 they said, Aren't you in Baltimore? Yeah, I'm in Baltimore, but I'm not from Baltimore. I was one of them county kids, you know, one of those kids that, that come from the county. Um, um, but uh, thank God I married a city girl. Isn't that good? Amen. 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 Thank God. But not only did we marry 42 years, this woman is, um, yeah, I guess you can double that. It's 84, right? Yeah. Um, I think I heard that somewhere before. 84. Married 84. I wonder where I heard that from. And uh, Vanna Smith, you, uh, Sister Pat, you have any idea where I heard that 84 from? Uh, but we thank God so much um, for the years that we've been together. But she really is a phenomenal woman. Uh, look, your phenomenal um, honor doesn't come from um, citation, doesn't come from celebrity status. Um, it, it doesn't come from uh, uh, being a celebrity. Um, it, it really comes from God. You just do the things that's right. You do the things that's right, God going to do the other part. Uh, you do the things that's right, God will do the rest. Um, and you be humble. Amen. Just be humble. The Bible says that blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Amen. You hold on to God's word. She's one that holds on to God's word. She's been telling me for, I don't know, 20 years or so. I want to go back to school. I want to go back to school. And she had said it so much. I said, my mind sure you do. You know, sometimes, didn't uh, uh, somebody say that we don't always agree? Yeah, um, you're true. human. You're not going to always that's agree. If, if, if you tell me you always agree with me, you're phony. Because uh, yeah, people don't always agree. That's why we're people. Um, so I said in my mind, uh, because I wasn't sure she was really sure about it. I was sure about this that she could go back. I was sure about this, that uh, if she went back, that she could achieve what she needed to achieve. How was I sure? Because uh, I was in school and she helped me in each of those degrees, a master's degree at Coffin State College, master's degree at Johns Hopkins. 
if it wasn't for my wife, it would have been difficult for me to make it through. I'm telling you now. So that's why I, I really love her because she supports me. And she doesn't just support me, she supports you all as well. Then, when I remember I took class, legal aspects at John Hopkins, and I thought I had put a nice paper together. You know, how many of you think you can write? You know, you know, I think I can write, so I put that paper together. I just knew that paper. I got that paper back, it was D plus. Yeah, I got it back, it was a D plus. It's bad enough, and that's what it was. It was number red on it. Yeah. Um, I had subject the verb agreement problems. I had uh, no S's on plural words. I had missing commas. Oh, yeah. So, um, so I needed a proofreader. I can write, but I don't. Once I write it, I can't really see what I've written. It's hard for me to see what I've written. I don't know if you all have that problem, but but I do. I can't. Re I can read it, but I just read into it what I think it's supposed to say. And so she helped proofread all of my papers, and I never got a grade lower than a B after that. So I would get an A. And, and, and the master degree program, you got kicked out of paper almost every yeah, couple of days. Right. Almost every couple of days, you got kicked out of paper. Paper 30 pages, 40 pages. And it has to be written with an APA style. Yeah, certain, right, right. And certain things that has to happen. Yeah, so and, uh, um, they, they have criteria, so if you have more than two, three mistakes, then you don't pass that particular, they'll send that back to you. Yeah. You know, you don't pass that class. So my wife allowed me to be successful, and the reason I was able to graduate from and, and get my master's degree from Johns Hopkins is because of my wife, and I, I appreciate it. So, then she, um, I wouldn't be able to do John, I mean, uh, Copper City College as well. Because, look, when you raise in a family, it, 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 everybody's got to pull together. Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Uh, you got to pull together. It's a partnership. Yes. Marriage is a partnership. If both of them uh, partner, then you can make it. That's right. You need the one to support the other. Sometimes one person has something that you may not have. And so um, I was happy when I found out she was going back to school. I think she didn't realize how hard it would be though. So now she got kicked out of paper every couple of weeks. And, and, uh, um, and uh, uh, it takes work. Yeah. She's mad with professors because they don't show up or they're not on time. Uh-oh, you, you all know about that, right? Uh, because the work is still required, whether the professors show up or not. Yeah, yeah, the work is still required. You still require what's on that syllabus, um, whether the, 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 they're there to teach it or not. And, and so, um, so when she gets a little upset, I said to myself, I said, well, welcome to school. You know, welcome to, to, to graduate school. Welcome to what it looks like. Um, the work that she's done um, in supporting this ministry and supporting you all, amen, it needs to be recognized. Um, she's, she's labored, you know. She's given up a lot. Um, uh, she's given up a lot um, to sacrifice, to be a mother, um, to be a full-time evangelist. Look, she gave up ministry. I mean, she gave up work. She, when Pastor Williams was, uh, needed someone to help her, she 
resigned from my job. She had a job with um, NSA. And you know, that's a top level clearance yes, job. Yes, it is. You gotta have top, and she had the highest clearance yes. that a person could have. That's it. And, and she, um, she uh, resigned from that to work with Pastor Williams in ministry. Um, guess what? Man, not gonna give you a reward for that. Yeah. There's certain things you do, you not, don't expect to get a reward for everything you do. That's right. Don't expect to get a thousand dollar offering for every time you preach. You might preach and not get a offering. Huh? But the Bible says he gonna pay every man according to his word. So what I'm saying to you is that she deserves this doctorate of divinity. She deserves it. She, she, she deserves it. Um, she deserves it. She deserves to be recognized. She deserves to be celebrated. Um, and here's the last thing I'm going to say. Um, I've been reading a book and I was uh, actually listening to a book. Um, but I've been wanting to delve into this for a while. It's called 30 Years a Slave, Four Years in the White House. And you said, well, that's an interesting title. It's about a woman named Elizabeth Keckley. And this woman was born a slave and for 30 years was a slave. And she was a principal person. She disbelieved in herself. She believed in her ability. When you believe in yourself and you believe in your ability, you might have some hard times. But sooner or later, it's going to turn in your favor. Yeah. Amen. Um, Amen. But you got to believe in yourself and you got to endure. Yeah. This this woman found out she had a gift and the gift was sewing. She was a seamstress. Yes. And through being a seamstress, this is a phenomenal story. If you ever get a chance, you should uh, do a little research on Elizabeth uh, Keckley. And um, through this gift, she was able to purchase her freedom. They wanted twelve thousand dollars. I think it was wasn't twelve. Twelve hundred was it? Twelve hundred? Yeah, it was twelve hundred dollars to purchase your freedom. And for a slave, that was virtually impossible back then. This is talking about eighteen fifties, eighteen I think around eighteen fifties. And so she was able to, but because she had principle, because he uh, treated people right. Now, she could have uh, gotten on the Underground Railroad and decided to go and her freedom that way. But she was determined she was going to purchase her freedom so she didn't want anybody to come looking after her. She didn't want slave catchers and bounty hunters come finding her. She wanted to do it legitimately. And she purchased her freedom and she goes to Washington, D.C. And this is the phenomenal part about it. Through being a seamstress, she became uh, President Lincoln's wife's best friend. Yes. It's this phenomenal story. So what I'm, I want to say to you all, continue to do what you're supposed to do. God's going to elevate you. God's going to bring you out. God's going to fight your battle. Don't worry about man. Being a, just because she had this gift, she was invited to the White House. The president's wife uh, needed dresses made. And 
As a result of it, she became the confidant of President Wife's, President Lincoln's wife, Mary Todd Lincoln's best friend. Mm -hmm. and, and, and literally, I'm saying this literally because there's on record, she would say, sign Mary Todd uh, uh, Lincoln, your best friend. That's just amazing. It's just amazing. So I, I'm saying that is that Overseer Shelly has been humble. Uh, she hasn't sought any kind of any kind of status. She's just wanted to do what God has instructed her to do. Amen. She has just wanted to fulfill God's mission. Uh, when God called her, she didn't hesitate. She said, God is calling me to start a church. And whether uh, people didn't like it or not, she had to obey. She's that kind of God. You all know when she brought a prophecy to you, she had a word for you. She just said, I got to tell you what the Lord says. And it's always good. Come on, put your hands together. I don't know how articulately I put this, but I wanted to say that this woman, amen, uh, first I want to say thank you so much for you all, for the kind words that you had for her. Um, uh, they're just so beautiful and we appreciate them. And the second thing is that more than any person I know, she deserves to be blessed. Alright everybody, let's give God another hand clap. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I didn't say anything to I am so yet. sorry, please forgive me. Bishop just ran with it and he didn't give me a chance. I didn't say anything to our overseer, but I certainly appreciate you. I appreciate the God that's in your life. Amen. I appreciate that you put God first, amen, and you put the people of God even higher. Amen. That you think on us, that you love us, that you care about us. Amen. That you do not spare the rod. Amen. And I died. When I think about hearing that, I always hear overseers say, God say, um, uh, whether you're going to hear or whether you're going to forbear. I That's hear her say that a lot. Yep. Amen. And she has no problem with correcting. Amen. And no, she keeps us in line. I thank God for that. I thank God for her light. Amen. She's definitely a, a, a woman. Amen. To look on. Amen. A, a woman of marriage. Amen. Yes. Faithfulness. Amen. Just to our family, to Christ. Amen. To 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 everybody that she works with. Amen. You can call. Amen. And I have. Amen. Anytime day or night, if I had a problem, I do reach out to our overseer if I have a concern. Amen. And she's always willing to take our call. Amen. She's always willing to pray. Amen. Anytime I'm sick. Amen. I get a text message. Amen. A phone call. Amen. Anything that I need. Amen. She's there. And I thank God for you. Amen. So much. Amen. So deserving of all your flowers. Amen. I just want to say I love you. Happy Mother's Day. And y'all can be jealous all y'all want. Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, Lord, the mercy. <laughs> Amen. I thank God so, so much. Amen. I heard Elder Caldwell one time say, if my arms were big enough, I would just put them around every last one of you. I thank God so much. Amen. And thank God for a uh, youth past. Yeah. 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 Laughter is good for the soul. Yes, it is. Amen. Oh. Amen. It is so good. 
And I, I, I thank God because I love each and every one of you. Amen. And I thank God so much for you. And, you know, my husband talked about how I helped him in school. And I tell you, he helps me now. I, Lord, have mercy. I get so nervous sometimes, you know, um, especially if, if, if um, teacher tell me they're going to be there one time and they get there another time. Oh, Lord. Amen. And it's, but I thank God I'm almost finished. I'm not getting this degree to be called doctor. I'm still overseeing Shelly. Amen. I, you know, I, Pastor used to always tell us, she said, education without salvation is damnation. I don't care how much education you get, if you don't have no salvation along with it, amen. But I just praise God for, because God is doing it for Holy Temple East all the way around. Yes, is. Amen. I don't know hardly anybody in here in Holy Temple East that don't have a degree. If, you don't, if they don't have one, they working on one. Amen. And I thank God, amen, so much for Holy Temple East. And, and, and Steve and I had to stay in the race. <laughs> Amen. All these degrees up in here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I, I thank God. I was all my life, all my life, I've been a person that loved to read and to get into books. And I loved education. All my life, I've been that way. You know, I when I was in the eighth grade, and I'm, I'm getting ready to keep quiet. When I was in the eighth grade, I um I had French, and when I was in school, and I learned the French National Anthem. And you don't know many people, I know people that can speak French, I'm not talking about a Frenchman, but I'm, that can speak French and don't even know the National Anthem. And I was in the eighth grade. I was only, what, 13 years old? And I'm 70 now and I can still sing. Amen. That's because I love education. I just use that. I just use that for an example. Um, that I'm a person. I always loved education, and I would always tell my husband, "I'm going back to school. I'm going back to school." I one time I told Pastor uh, Williams. I told her. I said. I'm going to school to be a lawyer. But I used to get tired of them lawyers getting over on folks. And I say, I'm gonna go to school and I'm gonna be a church lawyer. But pastor say, no, no, no. She said, cause all they do is teach a lawyer to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she say, all they gonna do is teach you how to lie in school. Amen. So that's, that's the only reason why I did not take up law. But I used to get tired of some of these folks. Amen. We, you got folks out there now trying to get over on church folks. Amen. I might not went to school, but I can tell you about some, a little bit of law. This pastor can tell you about a little bit of law. Amen. When you go through some things, you start to learn some things. Yeah, sure. Amen. And and uh, we as church folks, 
people done labeled us so long as dumb folks because we saved. So we get down, cause we get down on the floor and roll, cause we are shot. People look at us as uneducated folks, but you got some educated church folks. Right. And I thank God so much. Amen. Elder Blackwell don't talk much about his education, but that's an educated man sitting over there. Yes, he is. Very well educated. Uh, Elder Blackwell could be a mortician if he wanted to. Yes. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. And they holy right. temple east the millions. Huh? Ah. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're... <laughs> Amen. But I, I tell you, you all, you, you just filled my heart. You just filled my heart. And thank you so much, Dominique. These are young men, young men. Amen. They just going on with God. And I thank God so much. Amen. As my husband said, I hate I had to miss your sermon. I wanted to come so bad. I told your mom. I said, I sure wish I could go. Amen. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. I, I, I love you all. I love you all. And I thank God for each and every one. You know, my children, my girls, I love them. They get on me sometimes, though. They say, Ma, you got to be my mother and not my pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But man, this line is not too up many other ways that I, I know how to be. Amen. When you got that word in you. Amen. I can I can see Mother Williams now. Y'all, y'all talking, and y'all probably wanted her to be grandmother. But Mother Williams with the preach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But I, I thank God. I thank God uh, so much. I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. I, I, I just love you all. I just, we love you too, Pastor. I, I just yeah. love you all. I was looking for a Mother's Day card yesterday, and I was trying hard. The board tell you she was with me. Oh Lord! I was trying hard to find Mother's Day cards that say to my daughters. Oh! But they were all so low. Don't tell me I'm way too. Pastor Kelly, you do a great job. You do a great job. <laughs> Because that's what that's what you all are to me, my sons and my daughters. Yes. I, I love each and every one of you because you all are my sons and my daughters. And I don't care. I had four different appointments yesterday, but I could only take one. I could only take one. It would have been five if I had been invited. They wouldn't have to ask about me. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amen. Well, we're going to do something. You I'm, only, I'm only kidding. Oh, no, no. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's this joy of laughter. But my grandson, he, he went to his prom yesterday. James. 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 Oh. James. Yes. We went, we went to see him too long. Yes. I tell you, Dominique, you think he told. You need to see Javas and James. Amen. Amen. 
They done sprouted up on you. <laughs> yes, but I praise God. I praise God. Ronald's the tallest of you. Yes, he is. He's six five and six five. And um James is six three. And um Jabaz is six one. Um, but they all over six feet. Yeah. Yeah. But I I, I thank God. And, and Ronald used to be the shortest. Yes, he was. He was the shortest. Yes, he was. He used to get up every morning when he when he during the pandemic he stayed with me, and he he used to get up every morning and he used to stand next to me. And he was about right here. Uh -huh. And he he was measuring himself. He must have knew he was gonna get tall. <laughs> so he would come and he would measure himself against me. And he would be about right here. Amen. And he was in middle school and he was not that tall. I don't know what happened, but it happened. <laughs> Amen. And I thank God. I thank God so much. So we're gonna we're gonna get ready to take our offering. And um